This Irish whiskey has a really interesting finish. This week, let me tell you all about the Teeling whiskey finished in pineapple rum casks. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd and like I said this week I'm looking at a pineapple rum cask whiskey from Teeling Irish Whiskey. So first let me get into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now first off before we talk about the pineapple rum that was used to finish this whiskey let's talk about the whiskey itself. It is Teeling's kind of flagship small batch blend so it is a blended Irish whiskey coming in at about 75% grain and about 25% malt the grain whiskey they source and the malt whiskey they distill themselves. So it is kind of their classic flagship blend, aged for about six years in bourbon barrels before being finished for one year, so for about 12 months, in pineapple rum casks from Plantation Distillery. Plantation are a really great producer. They make a lot of different rums across their range. They've got some really low proof ones and some really high proof ones. So you have a full range of rums in their brand lineup and they also make some fun kind of rums including the Stiggins Fancy Pineapple Rum. Now apparently that gets its name from a Charles Dickens story uh, but a guy called Reverend Stiggins who liked to drink pineapple rum but the rum itself is very very tasty. It starts off with Victoria pineapples and what Plantation does is they separate off the bark of the pineapple away from the fruit and then they take the bark that kind of outside of the pineapple and then they infuse that into their plantation three star rum and they let that infusion kind of sit let those flavors meld together and then they distill that rum again meanwhile the fruit that's been allowed to infuse into their dark rum again letting all those flavors meld letting all of them kind of come together and get a lot of fruity sweetness into the rum. They then take that distillate and they take that infused rum, they blend them together, let them kind of marry and then well you come out with a very very tasty rum. I've had it before, I don't have a bottle with me right now but it's kind of smoky, it's kind of fruity, it's nice and sweet, a nice bit of spiciness comes through and it's a very nice rum and it has had a very nice influence on this whiskey. Like I said this is the Teeling Small Batch Whiskey and while the small batch does normally come in at 46% alcohol, so 92 proof. This comes in at 49.2% alcohol or 98.4 proof. So it is going to be a bit higher in ABV, but should also deliver a lot more flavor. So let's stop talking. Let's go in for the nose. Cheers. Okay, immediately there is some fruitiness up front and there's some caramel. Like there's... I hate to say, you know, it's so obvious that there's pineapple notes coming through, but with a pineapple rum, you're gonna get that kind of note coming through. There's definitely some caramel and some pineapple coming through, but it's not like a caramelized pineapple. It's actually more like the fruit, the kind of the flesh of a pineapple, as opposed to a caramelized pineapple. So it's as if those two notes are separate, but they're both quite strong and quite upfront. There's also plenty of vanilla coming through, like. Kind of like a, like a vanilla buttercream, not like a vanilla bean, not like that kind of vanilla icing sugar, more like that vanilla buttercream. Like there's a little bit of creamy roundness on the nose of the whiskey. There's also some spice, maybe a little bit of clove spice coming through. A little bit like, a little bit almost savory coming through, kind of, if you're familiar with rums, you'll know that some of them can be a little kind of funky. They can have this kind of earthy note coming through and that, kind of earthy, savory note is definitely there, kind of just behind all that sweetness. But like I said, it is very sweet up front and there's a lot of sweetness rounding out the nose on the whiskey. So I think there's enough on the nose. Let's go in for the palate. Cheers. Lots of sweetness up front. Like there's a huge hit of sweetness that's followed up by the ABV. The alcohol does come through. Then you get the spiciness, like more of that clove, and again, the fruitiness, that pineapple. The, the alcohol and the pineapple kind of mix, so you get the heat of the alcohol, but you also get that fruitiness, and it is kind of reminiscent of if you just bite into a pineapple and you get that kind of sharp, tangy, citrusy bite of that pineapple. That's kind of what it's like up front, so you do get that pineapple note coming through into the palate. But I'm gonna go into it again, see if that alcohol gets tamed, see if I can find anything else. Cheers. Second sip around, the alcohol is a lot tamer. So 
This is my first whiskey of the day, so that first initial hit of ABV was quite strong, but second sip round, much tamer, much rounder. The caramel note and that sweetness and the pineapple note all kind of combine. Um, there's also a little bit of a biscuity note from the malt coming through. I have it in my head, kind of like, um, like a pineapple upside down cake. So if you imagine the cake, I'll have to put a picture of it up there if you're not familiar with what a pineapple upside down cake looks like, but it's essentially a cake where you put pineapple on the bottom of the baking tin. You cook it, when you turn it upside down, the pineapple's then on top of the cake and you get these caramelized spices, the biscuity notes, the cakey notes, and that pineapple comes through again. Because again, lots of pineapple, a bit of maltiness and some spiciness, like that clove spice is there, but it's also, like as it's lingering, this might be going more into the finish, but there's definitely some black pepper notes that come through into it. A lot of spiciness kind of behind that initial hit of fruit and sweetness. So I think I'm gonna go in again, but we're gonna focus on the finish this time. Cheers. Yeah, so as the fruitiness, as that sweetness, it doesn't fully fade, it just takes a bit of a back step, lets the malt come forward, lets that spiciness, that black pepper come through, bit of oakiness as well, bit of oak, kind of spice, bit of oak flavor coming through towards the tail end of the finish. Like, it's not a very long finish, like it's still going in my mouth, but it's not a very powerful finish. Like, it's pretty clean. You get your notes, you get them, they fade off. There's a little bit, as I'm talking, as I'm breathing, there's a little bit of like, funkiness from that rum again like i said that earthiness i was getting on the nose that's coming back as i'm breathing now i'm getting that little bit of kind of funky pineapple rum influence onto the finish but other than that it's a pretty like clean finish i think i like this whiskey i mean it's definitely a step up from that standard teeling small batch whiskey and it coming in at 49.2 percent abv it does have a bit more weight and a bit more presence in the glass so it's obviously gonna have a thumbs up from me on that front, but also the standard teeling, it has a rum cask finish, which delivers a bit of fruitiness, a bit of tropical notes, a bit of kind of extra sweetness, but this here dials it up. It has that pineapple rum influence. It has that sweetness, that tropical note, and that kind of rum funkiness that you do get from certain rums, and it delivers that. So I think from that standpoint, it does deliver what it promises, a rum cask whiskey. Now, they do release this in batches, every now and then so if you see one on your shelves maybe pick it up because it does sell out relatively quickly that way you can try it out for yourself and see the influence that rum cask had if you want to see more reviews like this make sure you scroll down hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button i put out whiskey reviews on wednesdays i put out cocktail recipes on fridays and i'll be having a cocktail recipe featuring the stiggins fancy this friday so if you want to see that make sure you hit subscribe and while you're down there leave me a comment, let me know what kind of whiskey you'd like to see me review in the future. But until then, I'm going to keep on enjoying this, and I will see you next time. Sláinte.